Hey guys, Level Cap here, and today I have an updated video on my computer gaming, streaming, YouTubing, video editing setup. I've been making quite a few changes to it lately, and before we get into the details, let's take a step down memory lane and check out where we were back in 2013. It almost hurts me to look at this, but I had my gaming computer, my editing computer, and my wife's computer all in the same office. I literally had to like turn over to my wife sometimes when she was writing a report and be like, hey honey, can you can you type quieter? I'm doing a voiceover right now. And thankfully you guys enjoyed my YouTube channel and it started to make some money and we were able to afford to move out of that place into some bigger digs. Thank you guys so much for that. And this was my new office in 2014. I had a whole office to myself, which was pretty exciting for me. Not only did I not have to worry about timing my voiceovers around my wife's report schedule, but I also was able to put some sound foam up in here. I got a cool uplift desk that uh, allowed me to sit and stand with electronic controls. Origin gave me a brand new updated PC. Everything started to look cool. I got some nice desktop speakers. I had a bigger desk area to work with but as somebody who's always looking at ways to improve not only their gameplay but their computer setup i'm always making adjustments and tweaks and this latest upgrade we'll call it the truss upgrade has seen a pretty big overhaul now what is a truss well it's that sort of black scaffolding stuff that goes around the top of my desk and this allows me to mount lights speakers and other gear to it without uh, taking up valuable desktop space the ones i used here are made by odyssey innovative designs and what's cool about them is you can build it in any shape or form that you need so you just think about the layout you need the setup that you want to build and then you order the parts now once i got my u-shape design set up the next phase was mounting the gear I definitely wanted to remount my M audio speakers, but off the desk. So what I did is I actually went to Home Depot. I bought some oak, I cut it up. I put some uh, hose clamps on the truss system itself and some pipe clamps onto the oak and then uh, bolted it on there and was able to then essentially create a wall system that I could then drill a speaker mount into. I've used these speaker mounts in my living room before. They work awesomely and give you sort of a full range of motion. The other option would be to actually hang speakers from the truss itself, but I just didn't want to actually hang anything from wires. And I like this system, it feels a little bit more solid. Next up is the lighting setup. These are spectro LEDs. I'll put the links in the video description to any of the hardware here if you want to know more about it. These ones come with a nice little piece of diffuser plastic, which you can pop on or off depending on how soft you want your light. And right now I have them on their lowest possible setting. They can be cranked up quite a bit with the intensity value and it's LED, so it generates a very, very little heat, which is important to anyone if you're gonna be gaming for a long time. And then to affix the light on there, I used a double ball joint and a super clamp. I think these are both impact brands. Uh, tons of people make these. They're very easy to come by at any sort of photography store or video store. Um, and they're designed to basically be mounted on trusses or C-stands or whatever. It's great for mounting lights wherever you want them. And then we have a secondary LED up top, which I put a barn door on it so it doesn't actually put shine any light on my face and this is purely for lighting a fold out green screen so I can do some cool stuff with the webcam on Twitch. Then I also picked up a fairly inexpensive headphone hanger that is generally designed for a mic stand. If you wanna hang some headphones on there, you can use this for that. And of course it works just fine on a truss system as well. So another way to get my headphones off the desk when I'm not using them. I've also come up with a new mounting system for my RE20 XLR microphone. Um, basically I had a mic arm before, the mic arm was okay, but the weight on it always made it a little bit flimsy and wobbly and wouldn't hold its position. So instead I picked up a very inexpensive mini boom that attaches to my desk and allows me to bring the mic down in front of me when I want to play video games and talk to friends, do voiceovers, or even stream. The mic is not in the way of the camera, it's not in the way of gaming, um, it's just a great setup and when I don't want to use it I can just put it back up. I'm also planning on adding a custom made pop filter to the RE20 just so I can get rid of some of that S's and pops. And then driving the whole system is my RME Babyface Pro. This is a product I heard about from Total Biscuit actually watching one of his setup videos. He highly recommended the earlier version uh, from this and then they came out with the new Babyface Pro and I'm like you know what I'm gonna drop some serious cash 
and get this thing and it's been amazing. It's got a digital mixer interface allowing me to do all the things that a big mixer box could do but just on my computer screen instead. It's got every kind of input I could want. XLR in for mics, XLR out for speakers, any kind of headphone jack, toss link, whatever the heck you want to plug into this thing. It'll take it and it'll create a separate audio device on your computer for mixing down later in any way you want or recording on different tracks. It is just awesome. Possibly one of my favorite audio production upgrades I've ever made. And then of course we've got my other standard peripherals on there. I've been using this Razer Black Widow keyboard for a long time now uh, with the stealth keys or whatever the heck you call it. Then we've got the Steel Series QCK heavy mouse pad with my two final mouses or mice, I guess. And then of course my secondary BenQ monitor, which is still a very good monitor, but uh, my primary one now is this Acer. 27 inch 144 hertz refresh rate 1440p IPS panel. It is just my baby. I, I love this thing more than anything. Get that good old robust Logitech webcam on there. But uh, the coolest thing about this whole setup and why I built a trust system on my desk is so that I can still raise and lower my desk for sitting or standing while I game edit, stream, you name it. The lights, the speakers, everything raises and lowers with the touch of a button. So I gotta say, I'm actually very happy with my current computer setup. If you guys wanna try and replicate any of this stuff on your own, there'll be links to all the hardware and parts that I used in the video description. As always guys, thanks for watching my content. I hope you enjoyed the setup video and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.